Okay, speaking of low IQ, you gotta explain this to me because I don't have an anime IQ. My anime IQ is like, okay, <laughs> let's let's say my anime IQ like if a hundred is is normal, I'm about ninety five. I'm like almost there. I'm like a hundred and nineteen. You're like you're like that one movie like Limitless where they unlock like the other parts of your brain and then you start except levitating. It's shit. just weeb. Yeah, it, except it's weeb. So like you, all these katanas like <laughs> they start like magnetizing to you. And anyway, that's like, bullshit because your brain <laughs> uses all its brain. At so the same there's time, so but. this is a two part thing. Um, Funimation has was in talks with uh, fuck Dana reading the articles on the fly. Cut this out. Well, Funimation. Uh, was in talks to complete a merger for approximately $1.175 billion, which is pretty cool. You know, Funimation, they're a company that does animation, so it kind of makes sense. But on top of this, what happened a couple of days later is Sony ended up buying Country, uh, Country Roll flat out. Uh, and Sony some of the ramifications, Country Roads. <laughs> Country Roll, dude, I can't speak English. I'm fucking one of the ramifications of this, or I guess one of the positives, is that you're gonna, I believe, you're gonna get Country Roll for free if you have PlayStation Plus, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's actually a legitimate use of the service. Cause like people, th- the amount of people I saw like on on the internet, they were like, "Holy shit, Funimation just acquired Crunchy Roll. Anime is doomed." I'm like, I don't. What, I thought anime. Uh, I, think, Funim- I think the worst part, the the thing that was more impactful to anime was the shutting down of Kiss Anime or whatever the website was called. Yeah, like, pretty much. Yeah, like <laughs> Funimation is literally like one of the. Isn't that it's considered one of the better anime like exporters? Like, yeah, I just I just couldn't get it, and maybe it's just because I don't watch like stuff made after the year 2005. I think the newest anime okay no i watched that one horse anime not horse i watched that one farm anime where they like shove the hand up the far the horse ass cow ass wait what Sorry, no wait what like, like <laughs> are you sli- talking why what like <laughs> kinky shit are you watching no, it was like that was a legitimate thing but no it was like a uh it was silver spoon that's the name of it and uh they are this guy is he wants to every all his friends in the city are going to their normal school. No, no, like, go ahead. Go justify uh, why you're watching uh, horses getting their hands off their ass. Go ahead. I Continue. am. You're like interrupting me while I'm 100% justifying this. It's Silver Spoon. Mm-hmm. He, all his friends are going into the big city to go to their uh, high school education. But he decided, since he qualified for it, he's going to go to farming school. And he like meets all his he like advances in the farming ranks. It's a slice of life, and like as part of like cow health, you actually have to put your like you could you could find this on the internet. Like, you seem you seem to know a lot about uh, all farmers hands and will have to at one point like check their cow. I forget what it was. It was like a it was a very small. Oh part no, of that you episode. know you're just, you're just I, you know exactly why I they do it. You know just... these things. I don't know. About you're just cow you're just cutting like back. I'm not cutting back. You can't like I, I'm not gonna like start like speaking like <laughs> oh the cow aka the the, the I I don't know the science bovinus term maximus yeah, yeah, exactly the bovinus maximus the among us sussiest uh, <laughs> will excrete a certain sauce a cer- okay I'm gonna stop uh... talking about anything anymore <laughs> but yeah bes- besides silver spoon which uh, as you now all know is the best let anime me ask of you time, is it good. It's was good. It, good? it was good. Uh, I watched it with Angela, my girlfriend, and it was. It was cute. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a slice of the life guy. I'm like. I love. Like, I love the shonen shit. I love the action. I love like the horror. I'm watching way too much shit right now. My favorite movies, manga but... is Slice of Life. It's Genshiken. It's about a. It's a little bit of meta. It's about uh, this anime club at a college. So that's right. I like meta humor. I like when on I, Reddit. I, I do like you still read Reddit. manga. Um, I actually, I re- That's the only thing I do. I don't watch anime anymore. I only read manga. So you're caught up with One Piece? I'm also so stupid. Uh, my my Oh, I am caught up with, with One Piece, but no. <laughs> Genshigen used to be my favorite manga, and then it got overtaken by Vagabond, which is actually like the greatest thing of all time. I forgot it exists because there's only like one episode a year. And that's dope. Va- that's that's like, I, I'm so surprised there's no anime adaptation of Vagabond. It's like legitimately like the most badass manga of all time. It's just like, I'm a ninja, not a ninja. I'm a samurai, and I'm going to do samurai shit. It's... It's historical fiction. It's based on the legendary meeting up of these two samurais in the Edo period Japan. There's some pretty solid uh, historical fiction uh, shows uh, recently. You'd probably like it. It's called Dororo. It's like a historical fiction, demons, shit like that. I like Bobo Bo. Uh, is that like that? Bobo Bo 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 Bo. Dororo, is that like that? Dororo and Bobo Bo? No. It's complete different things. Okay, well, I, I probably won't like it then. But Regardless, but no, Funimation it's made by the slam dunk and guy, Vagabond. Country Roll. Slam Dunk, what the fuck's that? You know, Slam Dunk is like the most popular. It's the most famous 
sports anime. The world. I'm talking like my my anime IQ is a 95 here. I'm like busting out the classics, and you're like not even Never not even registering. It. You don't know Slam Dunk? Come on, round of 100 episodes. Slam Dunk's a great anime. If you don't mind like old shit, I would watch Slam Dunk right now. That and Legend of the Galactic Heroes. If you haven't watched that, that's another dope anime. Space Opera. Do you know that one? No, I guess I watched mostly like modern. I didn't get into anime until like later shit. Like, don't get me wrong, I I got introduced from Toonami like most people, so I like you know Cowboy Bebop that kind of shit. Cowboy Boy Bebop. But yeah, I, I mostly got into it. I guess I started really really watching anime probably like 2015, where I was like keeping up with like the the seasonal shit and just watch like certain series like here and there. But what's the worst anime you actually completed? Oh God. Um, probably Elfin Lied. <laughs> yeah, Elfin Lied's not great. I I remember I was like, oh, this it's first episode's it's, good. It's awesome. It, it it's awesome, but it's terrible. Yeah, you should watch School Days. That's a fun one. That'll make you. That'll make you happy. It's probably Bi- Bible. Bi- uh, probably Bible Black. That doesn't count. That's like the that's that's his own thing. But <laughs> yeah, School Day. I, uh, the thing is, I would recommend School Days to you, but you're not a fan of Slice of Life. But you're a fan of horror, yeah. so. Uh, oh, I love I uh, love horror shit. So you'd, if you like horror shit, watch Higurashi. Like you, that I, shit's fuck. That you know will I fuck don't. you up. All right, now this is anime recommendations podcast, but I just wanted to flex my anime muscle a little bit because I I felt a little. Su- like, it wasn't anime. It was manga. You fucking no. I talked about multiple animes you don't know from the late eighties. Yeah, and you 90s. said manga. No, Slam Dunk is an anime. It's one of the most it's famous. It was a manga anime. first. It what? Yeah. Are you? Are you like? Am I not allowed to talk about anime that no. was a manga first at this point? Because that's, that's severely limiting the bar here. So I'm like the one that's the fucking boomer here, and you're like talking about shit I've never heard of. Yeah, I, which I don't know how you've never heard of it, considering you're like a self. Are you a self-acclaimed otaku? No, you, I'm not a piece of shit. And <laughs> needs do you, to die. Do you, <laughs> You have you put it on your resume. <laughs> and, re- I'm sorry, I went a little, I went a little bit whole, you, hard on that. You you put on your resume, world's biggest otaku, and and you send that out to potential employers. You send that out to the CEO of Google. You, you're like, hey, hey, Twitter man, uh, you don't want to keep me suspended because if you need anime trivia, I I have, I am the man for you. I got the details. Ask me any question about Slam Dunk and I won't answer it because I don't know that's an anime because I'm an absolute loser. <laughs> I'm th- That's a first, right? Um, calling someone an absolute loser for not knowing an anime. But back on the subject at hand, and I'm not talking about the Funimation Crunchyroll merger because we're not there yet. The worst anime I've ever completed because you answered and I never answered was definitely Macross Frontier. I, uh, Oh my god. Fuck that. So bad. Hated it so much. I, I, there's probably something out there I think is really terrible. The problem is if something's really bad, I can't finish it. I I was just like in such disbelief in the direction it went that I had to see where it went. Oh, no, no, no. I, I take that back. Bad... The worst the worst is probably Sword Out of Line Season 1. Okay. Well, that's that's kind of a gimme. I, I was hoping you'd have a more interesting answer. At least it turned didn't turn you into. You have a... to admit that that first episode of Alfred Light is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's it's why like the show was every single person's like favorite anime from like if you were like between the ages of fourteen and if you were in high school basically and you were around when Alfred Light came out and you were like active on forums like you'd have a profile picture of the red girl. Was her name Alfred Light? Dude, I don't dude, know. Like the music was f- super sick. Like. The, the f- first episode of animation was, like, super gory. I love gory shit. Like, I fucking love it. Um, I just liked it because speak- it was edgy as hell. Like, I, I, I'm i not even, like, a, I'm not super into gory stuff. Yeah, Actually, yeah. I hate, like, shocking imagery, if I'm being honest. But, like, yeah. Well, I, like, I, 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 I can't deal with, like, realistic, like, real-life shit. But I can watch, like, animation all day. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of the issue I have with, like, horror stuff. I just, like, even if it's, like, an action context, I just, I just know, like, these are just, like, NPCs. But, like, when it's, yeah. when it's, like, horror, it's, like, it's too emotional a lot of the time. Why is it bad that Crunchyroll acquired by Funimation? It's but not. not. It's not. I don't know. I, I, I literally can't think of, it, like, a, a negative thing about it. But the problem with, like, everybody has, Hard-hitting like, all these journalism. negative <laughs> negative connotations about certain things and expectations. It's, like, literally nothing's going to change, like... It's going to be exactly the same. If anything, they have more funding and you'll probably get some more direct releases a lot faster because they don't have to go through like different channels. It's all like one thing now. Um, I'm more concerned with the uh, acquisition by Sony and how they could possibly change things because Sony is 
like well well known for censoring things like in games or whatever things that get sent over so we'll have to see how that goes 